So according to Evan Sidery and DraftKings, okay, this is weird. This is weird. This is weird. And it's not me fishing for an angle or anything. I just found it strange and I think you guys should understand. So DraftKings is a, you know, a gambling, sports gambling site. And Evan Cedary, hopefully I said your name correctly, is a national NBA reporter for Basketball News. And he just reported that the Nets, the Brooklyn Nets, just jumped the Pistons for the second best odds to land DeAndre Aiden on DraftKings Sportsbooks. What is happening right now? Historic odd movements. The Suns are plus 135 favorites to, I guess, keep DeAndre Aiden. In second place, plus 300 is the Nets. In third place, plus 350. Brooklyn, before, in the last hour... When this was when this all happened, jumped from plus four thousand to plus three fifty. Okay, and supposedly it's because the Pistons want Bridges and they've moved their focus from Aiton. And my question is: Is this smoke with you know? And is there fire, or are people betting on anything and just pushing the odds? Because I know these are the online sports books that if you bad enough they can you know have it but also i think the idea you know of like how does aiden okay first off somebody i'm looking at like through twitter just making sure that there's no sources talking and one guy saying they're preparing for a kevin durant deandre aiden swap and a sign and trade and DraftKings have moved tremendous in the hour. That's a serious line. Reminds me of when the cat LeBron left the Cavs for the Lakers. And somebody else goes, this is like Paulo number one pick odds again that the odds just went up. And, you know, I think it's interesting to see. I don't think Aiden and KD, I think it's, it's fine. I think if they're bringing Aiden in, I have no idea how they would do this. Okay, this is first off mind-blowing if they could get this down because first off if they were they if they paid 30 million they could bring deandre Aiden and still have kevin durant kyrie and ben simmons they would have to trade joe harris seth curry and patty mills uh, patty mills who did opt in and they can do it and if you need any extra guys you throw in Cam Thomas and Deron Sharp. Holy crap. And then some first round picks. I think DeAndre Aiden's going to Brooklyn. Because Joe Harris, 18. And then you throw in the, you'll be at like 27 with Seth Curry. You'll be at 33 with Patty Mills. And I'm fine with that. And then the contract, actually they can only take half the salary back to the Suns if it's a $30 million deal. So you can really just send Joe Harris and a few picks. That's wild. I just wild. Never would have thought. Never would have thought. That has just kind of made my day. And I want to hear your guys' thoughts down below in the comments. Do you guys agree with me? Or is this preposterous? Will he never go? Okay. I mean, I think there's a chance he goes. But hey, I want to hear your thoughts down below. What do you guys think of this situation? And what would you guys do? Okay. And why? But yeah, I think it's all very interesting. Also, I want to make sure yeah, my microphone is not plugged in. I better plug that bad boy in. Not my microphone, but you get what I mean. My headset.